Kaur prison camp was home to a variety of prisoners of war captured by Allied forces. The POWs were from Italy, Germany, Korea, Indonesia, and by August 1944, became home to over 2,000 Japanese prisoners of war. While some prisoners from other countries seemed to prosper while in prison, like these beetroot-wielding Italian prisoners, the Japanese POWs were a different story. While Australians in Japanese prisoner of war camps suffered from malnutrition and poor treatment, the Japanese prisoners of war held in Australia were well fed and kept fit and healthy due to plenty of exercise. August 5th, 1944, at around 2am, an unauthorised bugle sounded, signalling the start of the largest attempted prison breakout during the Second World War. Using blankets to protect themselves from the barbed wire, and armed with poles, kitchen knives, baseball bats, and other improvised weapons, the Japanese prisoners charged at the wire fencing, screaming Banzai! During the escape, some remaining Japanese POWs set fire to the compound, destroying the huts they lived in. None of the escapees actually escaped for long, as they were all rounded up within days. Overall, 234 Japanese POWs were killed during the escape, including the 31 who committed suicide rather than be recaptured, and 16 who were burned alive in the hut fires. During the breakout and recapture of the prisoners, four Australian soldiers were killed, including Fr Privates Benjamin Hardy, Ralph Jones and Charles Shepard, and Lieutenant Harry Doncaster. Hardy and Jones were both posthumously awarded the George Cross for their bravery in manning a machine gun post and before being overrun and killed. After the escape and recapture of the prisoners, a military inquiry was carried out to find the reason for the brash escape, which was considered as a suicidal disregard of life according to the pro current Prime Minister at the time, John Curt. The inquiry found that the camp was in accordance to the Geneva Convention, and no formal complaints were ever made by the Japanese prisoners. This, along with observations of the prisoners over time, showed the belief of the Japanese soldier was to face death rather than remain in prison, even if it means by one's own hand. 